If I was to turn the upstairs lights off, it would be quite dark. Likewise down here, if I turned all the lamps off, it would be quite dark there and it would be quite hard to light it with just a flash gun. And you very rarely, chances are she'll be silhouetted because your camera will meter for the outside and meter that perfectly and the inside will be too dark. The other way, if you meter for the inside, this will be well lit and the outside will be overexposed and blown. And we've got a shot for me that's ready to go into Photoshop just to do some additional changes. We're going to brighten it slightly and add a vignette. So let's load this into Photoshop and I'll see you in there. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop with that image we've just taken from RAW. Now obviously you can process, if you do have Photoshop, you can process the RAW shot in Photoshop. You can use Canon's Digital Photo Professional, you can use Lightroom. It doesn't really matter. The reason I said that I use Lightroom is because it's a generic um, software program that doesn't come with any cameras. Uh, the Canon DPP comes with Canon cameras and Nikon have their own software, that kind of thing. So Lightroom is a good place to start. Now that we've got this into Photoshop, there's always something I do first to start off when looking at an image and that's to go to Perfect. Now they're coming out lovely. Let's have a look at these. To show you. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Okay, so here's that shot loaded into Canon's DPP, their Canon's digital raw processing software. We're gonna have a look in Lightroom in a second. But just to emphasize the point that So at the moment I'm gonna to have to do this shot from a slight angle because we can't open those doors. But it reminds you to always be aware of any reflective surfaces because it will affect flash shots. You always have to move out the way. Even if you just move down so that if the flash isn't in the actual shot, it'll be okay. Now, we talked about safety settings again, didn't we? Okay, so I'm gonna set my camera to, you've all been doing um, low light shots in here without flash and trying those, and you're getting kind of color cast and things. But again, the quality of a lens will actually affect the color as well. But if I've got this set to F2, and I'm on, just on auto ISO just to see what happens, if you, just look at that. You see that? The quality of that. It's it's stunning. It's really nice. This lens is just superb. There you go, I'll show you guys. This is the left hand side of the left hand page. Coming all the way over here, you've got the right hand side of the right hand page, big double page spread in a photo book with the gutter in the middle and then obviously a couple more photos added onto this plain side over here. Yeah, okay, so when you're shooting shots like this, these are gonna be the ones that are gonna take pride of place in the photo book. And also, another tip, here's a quick tip for a photo. I'm gonna do a couple with the, I've got the pocket wizard on the outside, as you can see, which is throwing in just enough light to the outside, but that looks beautiful. Lovely. Okay, guys, you can fill your boots now, but try something further away. Walk, walk closer, you can see here. Yeah. Yeah. See the kind of shots? Yeah. See these on camera we're getting? Okay, so let's have a look at a few of those shots from that location in various pieces of software. I'm gonna show you them in Canon's DPP, Digital Photo Professional, Adobe Lightroom, and Adobe Camera Raw from Photoshop. So before we do that. So that's how we do the group shots, but is that, does that make sense? An aperture, <laughs> easy. <laughs> Welcome to the Prince Regent Hotel. This is the ballroom where a lot of receptions are held. So we have our bride and groom here who actually got married here this year in this very room and actually had their reception in here. But you can see in here that it's a very, very high ceiling. And like I said before, it's not a white ceiling. So we're gonna struggle with bounced flash. But you can see it's also fairly bright at the moment. But when we talked about doing the recce visit, something important I talked about is that you, now at the moment there's enough to do um, flash free shots. It's bright enough here to do flash free shots. But again, if you imagine when all the, all the curtains are closed and you're just on the low light, then you're gonna struggle a little bit. And we talked about safety shots, didn't we? We talked about getting those absolute guaranteed shots before you attempt anything else. So the camera, you can leave it. If you don't have pocket wizards, we've got some pocket wizards set up here. Now, if you don't have those, so to finish off the Blueprint DVDs, let's have a look through a batch of images I took at a recent wedding. Now the reason I've chosen this one is firstly the groom was a professional wedding photographer so obviously I was under some pressure to get things right. Secondly, this is one of the weddings where I didn't use an assistant but I also videoed the main parts of the wedding and also some smaller clips. So there was a lot of work to do at this wedding and I was under a lot of pressure 
but everything worked out fantastic in the end the guy was and the groom uh, sorry the groom and the bride were very happy with the results and everything just went swimmingly well despite the fact that even though this photo shows a bright sunny day uh, we actually had quite a bit of rain during the day but also this was kind of unlike a typical wedding there was more stress because I had so much equipment I had I think two or three video cameras two standard cameras I had flashes on stands with our pocket wizards and we had to go to the beach we had to um, after the ceremony we had to go out and do some shots on the rocks here and then after that we had to go out on a boat for two and a half hours so it was a real case of planning and preparation was key here because I had to know what kit I needed, where I needed it and so on and also have all the settings right for every single different location so it was a, it was a real humdinger of a wedding but a really enjoyable one as well. Now to start off the day I always...